The position and the shape of the normal distribution curve depend on the mu المتوسط الحسابي and the sigma الانحراف المعياري لذلك المنحنى The mu controls the location mu متوسط الحسابي يتحكم في وضع المنحنى The first curve has a mean of mu1 while the second curve has a mean of mu2 mu1 is less than mu2 mu1 أصغر من mu2 لأننا في المحور الأفقي كلما ذهبنا يمينا في هذا الاتجاه تكون القيم أكبر وكلما ذهبنا يسارا في هذا الاتجاه تكون القيم أصغر mu1 is less than mu2 so the curve the first curve is to the left of the right curve the sigma controls spread الانحراف المعياري سيجما يتحكم في التفلطح أو التشتت أو الابتعاد عن المركز We have the first curve, curve 1 and the second curve they both have the same mu equal mu for curve 1 and curve 2 but curve 1 has more spread than curve 2 المنحنى الأول يتفلطح أو يتشتت أو يبتعد عن المركز أكثر من التفلطح أو التشتت أو الابتعاد الحادث في المنحنى الثاني. Sigma 1 is bigger than Sigma 2. Here we have two curves, the blue one and the brown one. They have the same means, but they have different standard deviations. Mu 1 is equal to Mu 2. This is the mean for both curves, but the blue curve has wider spread, has bigger sigma than that for the second curve. Sigma 1 is more than sigma 2. Here we have different means with the same standard deviation. If we look to the mean of the first curve, the blue one, it's smaller than the mean of the brown one, mu 2. However, they have the same dispersion. The distance between the curve and the middle line here is the same like that for the blue curve. Now we have different means and different standard deviations. It's clear that mu1 is less than mu2. متوسط الحسابي للمنحنى الأول الأزرق أصغر من متوسط الحسابي للمنحنى الثاني البني. What about the dispersion? التفلطح أو الابتعاد عن المركز في المنحنى الأزرق أكبر من التفلطح في المنحنى البني. Sigma 1 is bigger than Sigma 2.